Hello, this is Courtney with C-Clack Creative. Thanks for joining me today for this happy Thanksgiving card. This card is starting with some ink smooshing. I'm going to put three colors down. The first three colors I'm starting with are Forest Moss, Fossilized Amber, and Ripe Persimmon. I get those down on my craft mat, add a few spritz of water, and then start putting my watercolor paper into that. Kind of move around the color a bit. Now, this is the trick to getting great results with ink smushing. Dry, you know, get some color on. Dry your panel, either let it air dry or use a heated tool, something to dry the panel. Then go back into your ink, get a few more layers on, dry the panel again. And these multiple layers is what gives you the really great results, a lot of dimension, a lot of interest. So I'm moving on to my second panel here. A second group of colors is Barn Door, Pilled Paint, and Walnut Stain. Um, the walnut stain is very light on there, so you see where it looks mostly Christmas, so I decided to add a few more of my first grouping of colors. What I'm also doing here is blending together the two groupings of colors, and that gets cohesiveness between the two panels where they have some colors carrying over. This panel right here, I love how it turned out. looks awesome all the speckling bits. I just love it. So heating in or heating in between just to help the panel dry. I'm not getting it completely 100% dry. Just the more wet, the more the colors blend. The more dry, the more you're going to get those lines between the colors. So I move on to using the oblong hexagon die from the stamp market. And I'm able to get three oxagons cut from each panel. So I end up with six altogether. So I'm just using a centering ruler here to find the center of this card. And then I'm going to kind of decide how I want these oblongs placed. You can see on this panel right here, it was kind of off the panel a little bit the die cut, but that doesn't matter because I know I'll be trimming it off my card anyway. So I have a piece of craft cardstock from Gina K. And then use a bit of repositionable adhesive to put this center panel down. I'm going to be removing that and heat embossing it. I'm just using it as a marker for right now. So I get that placed and then use some distressed collage medium to adhere the octagons or the oblongs around the panels and I will be trimming off the excess later. And then I just trim this last oblong so that each end can be used for those last two spots on the card. So once I get all of these adhered down, I remove the center oblong and I heat it a little bit more. I want to make sure this panel is really dry before I try to heat emboss over it. I'm using Simon Says Stamp Autumn Greetings Stamp Set. There's just a great Happy Thanksgiving sentiment on there. And then I'm heating my pen a little bit, just making sure it is completely dry before I heat emboss. So I use, I'd roped off the repositionable adhesive. So I'm just putting a little bit more on, putting this in my Misty, and then stamping with Versamark Watermark Ink. And then using Ranger embossing powder in gold. I tilt that up. I'm just looking at the alignment using the grid pattern on the lid and I just had to tilt it to see it a little bit. Otherwise, you get the top of my head in the video. Anyway, stamp with Versamark, get that gold embossing powder, which I store the embossing powders I use more often in these IKEA containers. Super cheap, I just, get a spoon adhered to the lid. Works fantastic. I use some scrapbook.com adhesive foam tape that I've trimmed into bits to pop up that center panel. And then I decided I wanted a little bit more gold. So first what I'm doing is I'm trimming off the excess die cuts right now. And then I take some 
Tonic Studios Craft Perfect Mirror Card and Harvest Gold. This is great. You can totally see my camera mount in the reflection of this mirror card stock. It is that shiny. So I use a Waffle Flower A2 die, which gives perfect alignment for frames. And I will use that center panel for another project and then just lay this frame on the outside of the card to finish it off. Use a little bit of adhesive, liquid adhesive, and then use a towel to with a little bit of water just to get all the fingerprints off that mirror card because like I said, it is super shiny and finger fingerprints and any little smudge will definitely show up. And then I adhere this to a card base cut from more craft card stock. And that finishes off this card. So if you celebrate it, I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe. Check back on Friday. I'm starting a 12 days of card making where every day I will post another holiday card tutorial for 12 days straight. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.